So here we are in the land of stupid cold, northern Wisconsin. Uh, two days ago when I came out here in the morning, it was 38 degrees below zero. And that's actual temperature. Wind chills were down in the 50s below. Uh, and I wanted to show you how our bale grazing is going on uh, this winter. The gang's uh, in great shape. Uh, as you can see here, we've got our, our bale ring, our pre-positioned bales, and we came up with what we thought was a fairly clever way, way to uh, move the temporary polywire fence along by, by sticking uh, uh, posts, fiberglass posts, uh, right into the side of the bale. You can't come in through the, through the other side because of the thatch. You know, it, it just won't go in. But from the ends, it goes in pretty easily. So what you can see down here is uh, fence down at the end, perimeter fence down at the end uh, with the handle on it. And then because the band is not touring uh, this winter, we've got a, a mic stand right here with a uh, fence post down the middle, the insulator. Because we just can't drive anything into the ground here in the middle. And we, were, we had a little bit of problem with that, but this is what we came up with. Uh, so we had a mic stand down there. And we've got the uh, uh, cymbal stand here for the drum set. So again, just pull it apart. Got a tripod at the, ba at the base of this now. Uh, to hold up the fence uh, out here where it was sagging a little bit. Uh, but then for the rest of it, you know, as we need access into the bales, uh, we just come along here and kind of hopscotch it along. Here again is a uh, fiberglass post inside of a bale. And then, uh, and then we're able to tie it off in this way here. This is the cheap, the cheapskate way of doing uh, fencing. Just polywire uh, stuffed into a five-gallon uh, plastic pail. So there you go. And again, there's the uh, there's the layout. Here's where they're going. Uh, we did a forge test. Please do this so you're not guessing. Uh, on our bales and the results came back that our hay is very good. It's not dairy quality but it's like so good that the guy that I get my steers from uh, said that he was envious uh, of how good our hay is this year. And you can tell by looking at their poop you know the uh, if it's runny uh, they're getting more protein than fiber and uh, their poop looks awfully good their rumens look good these guys are happy uh, they are happy that it's not 38 degrees below zero here today they're definitely happy at that but uh, everybody's hanging in there we got plenty of hay to get through to the spring uh, and that's hay just from our place it's not buying hay uh, we'll see, you know, as the winter goes on, but uh, according to my calculations, uh, we've got enough hay to get through. So that's our, uh, that's our bale grazing update uh, today. Like I said, this is northern Wisconsin, the land of stupid cold. And these guys, know, they are, they, they're kind of, they're, they're, sometimes they can be stupid. Uh, but for the most part, they know where they need to go to get out of the cold. They like this one corner back back over here where bales were because uh, it's kind of down out of the wind. So they like sleeping over there because uh, there's, there's, you know, remnants of some hay and poop and deep, deeper snow. So they get some insulate, insulating qualities. And then uh, over here, in the distance, you can see the barn and the corral, they go in the corral depending on which way the wind is blowing and then they 
they love over here, which is the, on the the barn to the left. Uh, that fa that wall there faces south. So when the sun's shining, they just line up along there, and they just get as cozy as can be. So uh, yeah, bale grazing. Uh, feed your animals. Distribute the manure. Uh, improve your soils. Uh, it, it's uh, it's really pretty easy. So uh, that's the report here from Northern Wisconsin. Uh, what's what's the date here today? February second, Groundhog's Day, and we don't care what the groundhog sees. Uh, we're happy up here. We love the cold. Keeps the riffraff out. Uh, no problem. Oh, one more thing on bale grazing. So you can see that we uh, have the, the bales, you know, we moved them out here this way. Uh, what we've been doing, as you can see here to feed them out, is we do flip them on their side. Uh, so uh, the bales unfurl more uniformly. Uh, one of the things we discovered is because of the way they're sitting here, the strings are frozen into the ground. So before we uh, flip them, we just have to cut the strings. Otherwise, it's just the bale is just fastened to the ground and you can barely move it. So uh, if you're storing them this way, cut the strings. Uh, we've got a crazy little bar here that we uh, just drive in with a, with a maul, <clears throat> drive it in the core. Uh, and then we have a lever and just flip them up, turn them on their side, and uh, reposition the, the uh, uh, bale ring. So, there it is. Uh, have a great day. Uh, I gotta put my, I gotta stop this because my fingers are starting to freeze. It's, uh, it's still 10 degrees out here this morning, but uh, uh, there you go. Bale grazing report. February 2nd.